guys, it's the holiday season and today I'm going to be showing you how to make gingerbread cookies because gingerbread cookies in Christmas time are the best and you get to decorate them which are really fun. <sighs> so for the cookies we need butter, vanilla extract, ginger powder, baking soda, nutmeg, salt, one egg, brown sugar, Sour cinnamon powder, molasses, and flour. For the first step, we need to add our spices into our flour. So I'm going to sift the spices in. I just don't want any big lumps of spices in. This is about one teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. I'm going to sift that in. While that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. the stuff we can't use. So now I'm going to add in just a bit of nutmeg. So I'm going to whisk together all these spices. And now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to move the dry ingredients aside. We'll need it later. And I'm going to get another large mixing bowl and we're going to start making the wet ingredients. I'm going to grab a hand mixer. You can use a hand mixer but I don't have one. I'm going to grab some butter. This is 85 grams of butter. I'm just going to add it in. And about 80 grams of brown sugar. I'm going to take a whisk, I mean, I'm going to take a hand mixer and start to mix it in. This is room temperature butter by the way, it's not straight out of the fridge. So I've just scraped the bowl down and I'm going to mix everything in. Now that that's mixed, we set this aside, and I'm gonna add in my molasses. So now I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna measure one fourth cup of molasses. So I'm about to start pouring in the molasses. And then we're gonna start mixing. So I'm just going to incorporate all the molasses. Uh, the molasses is what's going to give the colour to the gingerbread cookies. I'm not adding any food colouring in here. The molasses is mixed in. Now I'm going to add in another 1 8th cup of it. I already added in 1 4th but I'm going to add in half of 1 4th 1 8th. I'm going to mix the molasses in again. All the molasses are mixed in. Next, I'm going to get one egg and I'm going to add in one egg. And I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now that I've added in the vanilla and the egg, I'm going to mix it up. Now, that all our ingredients are ready, we're going to start adding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. I used about two and a bit cups of flour, a little bit more than two cups. Not one fourth more, I'd say a little like one eighth more. I'm just going to mix in the flour because I realize the spices won't mix in properly. That should be good. Now I'm going to mix this, not too, smell so good. not too fast because I don't want flour going everywhere. I'm going to mix it really slowly. So I'm going to scrape it, keep scraping the flour into the mixture, of course, because everything needs to be well incorporated. And I am going to start mixing this and I'm going to start going up in speed when more of the flour is incorporated. Mmm, yeah. Delicious.
I'm gonna mix everything that's all incorporated. All the flour that's all incorporated from the sides. I'm just gonna fold it into the batter or the dough. So now I'm gonna clean all this up. I'm gonna get help from Santa's elves. We're gonna put this on the side and I'm gonna get a plastic sheet of plastic wrap and I'll meet you back then. So I have my dough here which I'm gonna eat after it's cooked but now and I'm gonna take it and put it in some plastic wrap. I'm doing left. I wonder what I can do with this. Hmm. Where is it going? Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna put this, close it up, and close it from the side. Put it under, flip it over, put it all under. I like to give it a pat after putting it in here. So it's nice and level. And now this is going to go into the fridge for at least 2 hours. And 2 hours is the minimum. I recommend about 3 to 5 hours. Overnight is the best if you can, but I'm too impatient, so I'm not going to do overnight. Into the fridge for 3 hours. So this is our dough. Take it right out of the fridge, I've made it a little square and I'm going to put it on some all purpose flour. So now that our dough is on the all purpose flour, we are going to take a rolling pin and roll it out. We don't keep it here. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to take the rolling pin and give it a roll. I'm going to roll this out to about a quarter of an inch thick. This dough was resting in the fridge for about 3 hours um, and if it was resting in the fridge longer, it would be way harder. So once I have rolled the dough, I'm going to take a knife and cut through the dough. And this is just going to help me see... It's just going to help me see if the dough on the inside is too thick and I just... You can cut it more, but I think this is good. And then I just want to quickly put some flour in the middle. Then go. Let's it up. Roll it out, smoothen it out. Join them together. They won't stick the flour in the middle now. I want to put pinch all these cracks together, you know. Just flatten the cookie out a bit more. This is the final thickness of the dough now. Ignoring the size, which I'm going to actually cut off, the dough is actually a good size, but um, the sides are not, so I'm just going to cut them off. I'm going to swipe off this old flour because it's mixed with the dough, and I'm just going to dump a bunch of new flour on here, and then I'm going to spread it out. Do I have to do this? No, I'm just doing it for fun. Then we have to just spread it out and go... So I'm going to start cutting out our cookies. Here's a cookie cutter. Just keep putting cookie cutter them honestly, it's not that hard. So now I'm just going to get these cookies out of there. Like this. This dough has gotten too soft, I cannot use it right now. I'm going to put it back into the fridge and get it back out later in about 30 minutes. And I'm going to take the cookies and I'm just going to put them on a baking paper. I'm going to take all of them and I'm going to put all of them on a baking paper. Into the oven at 180 for 13 minutes. So for the icing, I'm making royal icing. It's the best for cookie decorating. To start, I'm going to get about 3 cups of sifted powdered sugar has to be sifted and just a few egg whites this is about 2 more than 2 should not be needed and a whisk now I'm going to start so when I'm adding the egg whites I'm not going to add in all of them or both of them at a time I'm going to add in a few 
a small quantity of it and then I'm going to add in the, uh, another bit and then I'm going to add in the rest if it's getting and if the icing is not mixing it and as you can see here I'm only adding I made a well here and I'm going to be adding the egg whites in here and I'm going to slowly incorporate the sugar little by little not all together otherwise it'll get really lumpy okay I'm going to start adding the whites so now I'm going to add the second egg white Here is our royal icing. So royal icing has two consistencies. One is our regular consistency and this is going to use for outlining the cookie. I don't really use the other one much. The other one is called flooding. It's a thinner consistency. You add a little bit of water and that you use for just spreading out more of the cookie. I don't like using that too much because I only like outlining but you can use that if you want to. I'm not going to make that. I am just going to. This is perfect for chicken consistency. I have not used the entire egg white as you can see. The little bit of egg white left. I am not going to add it or it will be too thick. I mean thin. And this is actually really tasty by the way. Mm. So I've put the royal ice cream in a piping bag that I can just pipe onto the cookie. Don't fall, don't fall. And I'm going to pipe them onto the cookie. Very simple, not going to make anything over complicated. So for the gingerbread house, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna hold my piping bag a little above the cookie. So I'm gonna make all the rest of the cookies. I have a few more colors. I'm gonna make them. Into co I'm gonna add colors. It's gonna be beautiful. And well, these aren't professional cookies at all, but they they don't look amazing, but they are quite yummy. So. That's enough. Well, the cookies are in the oven, but I want them to come out faster. So, I'm just going to pray for a Christmas miracle. For my Christmas gift, I want the cookies to come out in three seconds. One, two, three. <gasps> so, now that these cookies are made, and they look so good, and I really hope you guys like this recipe, and you're going to make cookies all Christmas. And this is like the best recipe you'll find on the internet. Trust me, don't go looking for the recipe anywhere else. Watch this recipe. Bye! Oh yeah, sorry. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Bye!